Strickland dives for a first down. It's all about tempo for this Syracuse offense. No huddle. Pitch and catch. Steve Ishmael. Field goal kicking. Plenty of distance. And it is good. Damon Terry, they're going to have to step up their game along with the explosive Mark Chapman. Third down and nine. Broken play. And Morris gets drilled. Can you hold a long pocket? I mean, you can't right. have long routes if you can't hold. Protect long for quarterback. Off the deflection. Irv Phillips pulls it in. And it's a first down for Syracuse. Time in receptions in Syracuse history. Now 148. None prettier than that one. Well, it was tipped twice. <laughs> Foster is a redshirt senior over on the right side of the line. Dungy on the move. Just throws it away. And that'll bring up fourth down. That leads the country. It's incredible. Morris from just outside his goal line has the pass dropped by his tight end Logan Hesbrook. Because he slides really late. Well, they marked it back around the 45, and there's a fumble by Marquenzi Pierre. Chippewas say they have it. And indeed, it's a turnover for the Orange. Mitch Stanizek got to suit up in a game. We saw the picture of him there in a bowl game, but he never played for the Chips. This could be a big one. Inside the 30, inside the 20, Eric Cooper, touchdown, 57 yards. Make that Cameron Cole, excuse me, with the long touchdown. Scheme and the same coaches where he has had to change his last three years of high school and first three years in college. Ball was deflected and it's intercepted. Picked off by the tight end, Alex Brionis. You saw that's the ninth. Interception already this season. Tops in the country for Central Michigan. Jonathan Ward, sophomore from Kankakee, Illinois. Wide left. Third and seven. Looking for the tight end on the jump ball. Nice job defensively by Christopher Frederick. On to kick the 30-yard field goal. Michael Armstrong. Second straight week, the Syracuse defense has faced a left-handed quarterback. Off the hitch, pass deflected, intercepted. And that is a pick six by Evan Foster. Nobody wants to catch a football. Another batted ball in the air. Put on him right there by Shane Morris. Batted in the air, and the defensive back does a great job of just going to get it. Getting downhill and scoring the football himself. Franklin was a captain as a sophomore, team captain last year as a junior, and uh, likely when team captains are named at the end of the year, Franklin will be a three-time captain. Getting on top of it in a hurry. I mean, there's no reason to honor downfield passing right now. Inside the Carrier Dome this afternoon, tied at 10, Central Michigan and Syracuse in the third down pass, deflected. <laughs> Yeah, getting him involved is helpful. Having a nice edge, edge threat there in the run game and pass. Much better balance for the Syracuse offense so far here this afternoon. Run and pass. This is Strickland. He's got to connect. Dungy over the middle. He's got a completion. Out to another first down. Or Phillips. Deep balls. You're starting to see the backside safety. He gets a seven, eight, nine yards. Just not respecting that part. It draws you closer to the line of scrimmage. On the ground, Mo Neal. On Gain of only two. Recovers from what looked like a knee injury. And how his teammates step up without him. Jonathan Ward on the carry for Central Michigan. All of a sudden, you know that you can, you can farm them here. They can get players that can play at that level. Yeah, Eric Fisher, Kansas City Chiefs, number one overall pick out of Central Michigan. Gang tackling near... Morris, time to throw, fires a strike. Complete into Syracuse territory on the grab, Eric Cooper. What are you going to do? Matt, excuse me, there's never been a question about the arm strength for Shane Morris. I mean, coming out of high school, he was a high four-star recruit. There's a first down to Mark Chapman. Went from NC State to Wisconsin, so that was ACC to Big Ten. Still big Power Five programs, but you can do it. Get yourself to the NFL. Tight end Logan Hesbrook gathers in the first down pass. The field stay here down at the bottom of your screen. The field side. 
Morris lobs it out. Pass complete toward the running back. He heads towards the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Central Michigan. Coach Bonamigo's wife and her entire side of the family live in Jacksonville. And so they have been dealing, as has the rest of the state of Florida, with the devastation from Hurricane Irma. Ryland with a huge gap down the right sideline. One man to beat, pushed out of bounds at the 30. Before flipping and coming across the country, he's a California native. And it's that kind of blazing speed as Dungy has dropped. Had some time. <laughs> now they've got third down in less than a yard. Swing pass right side. Dante Strickland. Shane Morris, who years ago made his collegiate debut against Central Michigan for the Wolverines, now trying to guide Central Michigan from deep in its own territory. The hookup with Cameron Cole. Now Shane Morris took a healthy red shirt in 2015 after the coaching change in Ann Arbor, understanding that he might have this opportunity as a graduate transfer, and he's trying to make the most of it. Jonathan Ward tackled by Zaire Franklin. The two-minute mark and still get points. Morris. Flings it left side, a diving attempt, but out of bounds, incomplete. Mark Chapman couldn't keep his feet. Often not the case, it's just getting that SID, or excuse me, AD to make the jump. Sidearm fired, intercepted with a flag down. Christopher Frederick. Big return, but will it stand? Morris was taking with the pass. John Riley in the slot for Syracuse. Dungy looking that way. He's got Ishmael out there as well. Time to throw. He flips it up. Intended for Riley. He's got it at the 10. Gain of 46 yards. Syracuse from its own 10. Strickland down near the goal line. And finally, a slow motion sort of touchdown indication. <laughs> Keeping this high-powered Central Michigan offense in check. Here comes the heat. Spalding, gang tackle. Final minute, 35 of the half. Morris on third and long, hands it. Devin Spalding. Tackled back near the original line of scrimmage. Second defender coming in. Right. I think his leg got caught underneath him on the initial tackle. On the jet sweep, Jonathan Ward tries to cut it back and does. Steps through a tackle and he's across midfield. And finally dragged down from behind by Evan Foster, but not until Jonathan Ward chews up some big time yardage. He makes a play on the cutback of a jet sweep. This is designed to go way outside of the numbers, and he ends up way outside of the cutback lane. The freshman, the young man out of Bishop McNamara High School in Illinois, had a couple hundred yards rushing, but this year Ooh. he's really starting to take off. Morris avoids Franklin initially, but then the health defenders come to bring him down. Yeah. Inside of field goal range, you would imagine here, Morris steps up, lobs it down the sideline. There was some contact, but no flag as Ward was trying to get rid of Foster again. He's into the tackle a little bit more. He goes past Dungy. He had the ability to redirect there. Big heel hole up the middle. Moneal does he have the foot speed to outrun the Chippewas. Down inside the 20. Amari Coleman barely able to trip him up. Mo bursts through the hole, gets out into space, and he wants that end zone, but he needs Mo. Mo needs Mo. And through the line of scrimmage. Second and nine, Dungy has the corner blitz picked up. Ishmael with the catch. And they say he's down inside the one. Can the Chippewas make the former Wolverine look prophetic? Had to get to the 35, Ward very close to it. Zaire Franklin among the orange shirts trying to keep him from getting there. It's now third and ten. Franklin again showing blitz. Now he drops back. Pass is complete. But it's going to be shy of a first down. I have a whole playbook at your disposal. Back to Strickland. And still the numbers for Strickland not great so far. Today's averaging about three yards per attempt. You, you want to be better than that. 
Strickland in motion to the left side. Being followed by the middle linebacker Malik Franklin. Dungy tucks it. Cuts it up. He's got a first down across the 40 yard line. He fires a strike does Dungy to Ishmael. Breaks two tackles and he's still going. Puts the ball on the ground. It's bouncing toward the end zone and it's covered by the Chippewas. First and ten. Well, right before getting drilled, Morris able to complete the pass, but that play was doomed right from the start. Jonathan Ward loses four yards on the play. Paris Bennett. Death, there's no reason not to have one. Third and 13. Fires down the right side into double coverage. Deflected away by Rodney Williams. Adam, I'm Doug Sherman. On a steamy mid-September day in Syracuse, Eric Dungy. With a big gator, and he's still on his feet. To the 30. Inside the 20. Inside the 10. And Syracuse's quarterback has another monster run. It covers 75 yards. Dungy flips it up to the end zone. Ravion Pierce has his second touchdown of the year. Third down and eight yards to go. Shane Morris standing tall. Nearly intercepted again. His uh, receiver did not cut off the route. Panicky kind of feeling throws. Now Devin Spaulding, the running back, was the intended receiver on that play. And we saw the two of them come together. Good coverage by CMU. Flag comes in. Sean Riley. The Southern Californian turns the corner and has all sorts of real estate. Another chunk play for the Orange and another for number 10. And here comes that tempo for the Syracuse offense trying to make the defense play from its heels. Dungy, time to pass. Throws to Ishmael. He's got the jump ball inside the 10. Out of De La Salle Collegiate in Warren, Michigan. Dungy wrapped up from behind, driven into the turf. Never get a chance to get set and just blow out of your stance. It's rushing, getting down, trying not to get gassed. 26-yard field goal by Cole Murphy is good. Each of the three weeks that he's been with Syracuse. Third down and nine. Morris fires a spiral over the head of Chapman. I have to find them at times. Well, Amba Edatawa was the big receiver last year for Syracuse. He is now... In the NFL on the practice squad for the Jacksonville Jaguars as Riley catches a first down pass. He will eventually have a role, but after the fumble, you saw him sort of get put on ice here for a couple quarters. Out of Liberty High School in Kissimmee, Florida.